Hi guys, uh, so this video is about uh, Devin, the first AI software engineer and the makers of Devin is uh, Cognition Lab. So they are an applied AI lab uh, which is focused on this AI stuff. So they have put out these videos and blog today and it's really getting viral, right? So we will see like what is Devin and how it is different from chat GPT and all and I will then give my thoughts like how it can be used in the real software development process. So let's see the video first. So this guy really looks happy and he should be. So we will not see whole video. So I will just explain you the concepts. So basically in Devin, what they did is like the Devin already have its own environment ready for development and testing purpose, right? So the code editor is there, the browser is there because we really need browser to search documentation and other stuff, right? So Devin can also use the browser. So Devin is using the browser in this case. And one thing I liked here is because what Devin did here is how we human software engineer do the same process the Devin also did like first Devin went to the API documentation. This thing is so human like right. So if I have to do also development, I will read the documentation, then write the code. And then if I am stuck somewhere, I will also write the print statement or console.log right to find what is uh, going wrong. So that's why it's really amazing the way he is doing the work here. In the end, it will also able to deploy this uh, application. And the main thing, these numbers are really amazing, right? So if you see the chat GPT-4, it's almost a 2%, right? But Devin is almost 14%. So it's really a lot of difference. And I know the open AI team or open AI companies also working on something similar because they have all the data and everything they have to make AI software engineer. So I think uh, in the future or very soon, I think the open AI or Google or Microsoft, they will again launch the same concept, other features. So basically Devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies. And this point is really amazing. Like it can build and deploy apps end to end. And then it can find and fix bugs and it can also like work with GitHub issues, create pull requests and all that stuff. What we uh, human software engineers do. And then it can contribute to the production repositories and all other things. So it's really amazing. And this is really exciting and I have already asked for the early access here. So let's see if I will get it so we can play around it. So this is really good. So main difference is like if you are using chat GPT, right? You still need one developer uh, to copy the code from chat GPT and test in your environment, right? Or even if you're using GitHub Copilot, it's not like uh, it still need one person, right? For assistant and it's not like it have their own environment basically to test and build and deploy, right? Like we do. So it's really a game changer like for AI industry and the software engineer uh, industry, right? So so according to me, let's say like if we have scrum team, right? Four developers, one scrum master, one PO, right? Uh, so if we think, right, high level, the tasks of developers. So developers can do POCs, R&D, right? And grooming of new project and then test cases, bugs fixing, then new development, right then creating end-to-end -end flow then all the build and deployment activities in ci cd right and then uh, testing automation performance testing and all that things so these are main tasks of developers right uh, in day to in day-to-day -day basis right and if you think about uh scrum master and po's tasks so they write features user stories right understand requirements and then maybe bdd feature files and other coordination then planning is there so all that things they do right so and then let's say if we put one ai software engineer in this team right so let's say ai software engineer so let's say devin right so let's say if devin is part of this team and then devin can really help in most of these tasks right if we say devin to do some poc on new technology or new framework I think Devin will be able to do it according to the videos we just saw. Then if we want to improve our code or fix some bugs, we can take help of uh, AI software engineer also. And then the most boring thing is to write documentation or do commenting, right? This thing, definitely this task can be given to our AI software engineer, right? To uh, do everything and it will really help in uh, knowledge management also, right? Because whatever old code is there, right? You feed you give all the GitHub repo and ask artificial software engineer to 
comment all the code base right it will really do it and it is really helpful for the team and the company right because most of the times uh, in big enterprise there are like subject matter experts or you call it smes right so smes have knowledge of the system but if we give all the code base all the uh, system documents to artificial software engineer like devin uh, he will really able to you know do everything uh, document everything and explain to other people also and we can take help in test cases of course uh, grooming also right uh, and then not only the task of developers but if you see the task of uh, pos and scrum master right so if pos will give the requirement in a very raw format and ask the ai software engineer to convert that right so i think uh, it will able to convert because chat gpt is already doing it so why not uh, ai software engineer right so all only benefit of ai software engineer will be it's already integrated in your uh, development process and your uh, like enterprise architecture right so it's really good and yes it will lead to less hiring because let's say if i have four developers already right in my team and if i want to hire two more developers so of course i will prefer okay let's hire one developer and then let's hire one artificial uh, ai developer right so this trend will definitely start coming from this year or next year because github copilot already started and this will start soon once they uh, start giving the demo to big enterprise and of course in the start these companies will give like free model to the big enterprise right to just they will just say like you start using it and if you like it then we will charge you right so i think this trend will start coming soon and big enterprise will start using it big enterprise will definitely start experimenting with it right uh, maybe it will start with one ai software engineer per scrum team that can be the future and if it works well maybe it can be half ai software engineer team and half a human developer team right so it sounds uh, unrealistic now but i think the 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 way it is growing the sooner the scrum teams will be half humans half ai for sure so we really have to keep up with our skills so that's it for this video Let's put your thoughts or opinion in the comment section so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content